It's two in the morning. The house is quiet, and I've fallen down an internet rabbit hole. This time, about phishing attacks. Not the obvious scams, but the sophisticated stuff that could fool even tech-savvy people. What I found was both fascinating and unsettling. Tonight, I want to share that journey. Not as a tutorial, but as a story to help you understand the real threats out there, so you can defend yourself. My first stop was GoFish, an open source tool designed for security teams to run simulated phishing campaigns. Think of it as a fire drill for your inbox. Fake emails, fake login pages, all to see who clicks and who needs more training. The dashboard tracks everything. Who opened, who clicked, who submitted info. Used ethically, it's a great educational tool. But here's the catch. The same features that help defenders can be used by attackers. Easy templates, campaign management, and tracking. These are a blueprint for real attacks. The interface is so user-friendly, even someone with bad intentions could launch a campaign with minimal effort. The real weapon isn't the tool, it's the psychological manipulation in the email. Urgent HR requests, fake password resets, these prey on trust, not technology. Attackers A-B test their emails, just like marketers, refining their approach for maximum success. It's a business, and GoFish is one of their tools. The line between training and attack is thin. It's the same playbook, just different intent. Understanding how these tools work gives you insight into both sides of the fight. The lesson? Phishing is about exploiting people, not just systems. The best defense is awareness. Knowing these tactics exist makes you less likely to fall for them. GoFish is a reminder. The tools are out there, and they're easy to use. The difference between good and bad is how they're used. Stay alert, question unexpected emails, and don't trust every link. That's the first step to staying safe. Next, I found Evil Jinx 2, a tool that takes phishing to another level. Unlike simple clones, Evil Jinx 2 acts as a man-in-the-middle proxy. When you click a phishing link, you're interacting with the real site, but through the attacker's server. You enter your username and password, they see it. But here's the kicker. It also captures your two-factor authentication code. The attacker gets your credentials and the session cookie, letting them access your account even after you log out. This defeats SMS codes and authenticator apps, most people's go-to security. Setting it up is more complex than GoFish, but the payoff is huge for attackers. The weakness isn't in the two-factor code itself, but in the way the web handles authentication. That's why security experts recommend hardware keys like YubiKey, because they can't be tricked by a proxy on a fake domain. Evil Jinx 2 is a wake-up call. No single defense is perfect. Attackers don't need to break encryption, they just intercept the conversation. The lesson? Always be skeptical of links and use phishing-resistant authentication when possible. Tools like this show how attackers adapt and why we have to keep evolving our defenses. It's not about paranoia, it's about smart habits. Don't trust a login page just because it looks real. Check the URL, use hardware keys, and stay informed. Evil Jinx 2 isn't science fiction, it's out there right now. The more you know, the safer you are. Stay vigilant. And remember, attackers are always looking for the easiest way in. Then I found Modlishka. Another reverse proxy, but with a focus on flexibility and automation. It's like Evil Jinx 2, but modular and easier to adapt for new targets. Attackers can write plugins to target specific sites or bypass new defenses. Modlishka automates SSL certificate setup, so phishing sites look legit with that reassuring padlock. But that padlock only means the connection is encrypted, not that the site is safe. Attackers use this to make their fake sites look trustworthy. The tool is constantly updated to keep up with new security features. It's an arms race. Defenders add protections. Attackers find ways around them. The real danger is how seamless the illusion becomes. A perfect copy, a real SSL certificate, and you're none the wiser. The only real defense? Always check the address bar. Don't trust a site just because it looks right or has a padlock. Madlishka shows how easy it is to betray that trust. The threat isn't rare, it's widespread and evolving. Stay skeptical of every link, every login page. The browser's address bar is your best friend. Vigilance is your shield. After the complex proxies, I looked at simpler tools like Social Fish and Hidden Eye, phishing page cloners. These automate the creation of fake login pages for popular sites. 
Facebook, Instagram, Google, and more. No coding needed, just pick a template, generate a link, and send it out. The fake page looks perfect, but the login just saves your credentials for the attacker. These tools are popular with beginners because they're so easy to use. The danger is in their simplicity, anyone can launch an attack in minutes. Attackers pair these links with urgent messages to create panic or curiosity. Someone tried to access your account, log in now, or you've been tagged in a photo, click here. The goal is to make you act before you think. These tools are often labeled as educational, but their real use is obvious. The barrier to entry is so low, even a teenager could cause real harm. For victims, losing access to an account can be devastating. Not all threats are high-tech. Sometimes, the simplest tools are the most dangerous. The volume of attacks is huge. Attackers only need one person to fall for it. Awareness is your best defense. Pause before you click. Don't let urgency trick you. Kingfisher brought me back to the corporate world, but with a darker twist. It's another open source phishing toolkit, but built for large scale, persistent campaigns. It manages multiple campaigns, tracks detailed analytics, and integrates with other tools. Attackers can use it to gather intelligence, who clicked, when, from where, and what device. This info helps them target high-value individuals with follow-up attacks. Kingfisher isn't just about stealing passwords, it's about building a profile for bigger attacks. The tool's power comes from its open-source nature. Anyone can improve it, for good or bad. In the right hands, it helps companies get stronger. In the wrong hands, it's a weapon for orchestrating sophisticated multi-stage attacks. The line between red team and real attacker is paper thin. The same tools are used by both sides. Intent is the only difference. Phishing isn't a one-off event. It's a campaign, planned and executed like a business operation. The infrastructure is out there, free to use. The lesson? Attackers are organized, methodical, and have powerful tools. Defenders need to be just as prepared. Know what's possible, and you'll know how to protect yourself. Stay informed, stay cautious. Just when I thought I'd seen it all, I found Evil Proxy, a phishing-as-a-service platform. This isn't a tool you set up yourself, it's a subscription service for cyber criminals. Attackers pay a fee, pick a target, and the service handles everything, no technical skill required. It's the industrialization of phishing, cloud-based, scalable, and constantly updated. The attacker just needs to send the link, the service does the rest, including bypassing two-factor authentication. This model puts advanced attacks within reach of anyone with money. It's a force multiplier. Criminal enterprises now run like businesses, with customer support and regular updates. Defenders aren't just fighting individuals, they're up against entire organizations. Evil Proxy is marketed openly on the dark web, with no pretense of legitimacy. Hosting in the cloud gives attackers resilience and anonymity. If one server is taken down, another pops up instantly. The trend is clear. More automation, more abstraction, easier access. Phishing is now a turnkey service. The threat is real, active, and evolving fast. The phishing email you get tomorrow could be powered by a cloud-based engine designed to steal your session, no matter your defenses. This is the final boss of phishing. The only way to fight back is with knowledge and vigilance. Don't underestimate the threat. Stay sharp. By the end of the night, I closed my laptop feeling the weight of what I'd learned. Phishing is about social engineering. Technology just makes it more convincing and scalable. The best defense is vigilance. Keep software updated, never enter credentials from suspicious links, and use hardware-based authentication when possible. Always pause and verify before acting on urgent messages. Knowledge is your shield. Understanding these tools turns you from a target into an informed user. If you found this story helpful, let me know. I can make a follow-up with practical tips for spotting phishing in real life. No tools, no demos, just step-by-step -step awareness. Want that next? Stay safe, stay curious, and stay kind.